Sorry. Uh, chat's triggering me. Mayonnaise ice cream is a thing? What the fuck? Ew. Gross. Back to the Lord. If they had sent a regiment with him, he would have squandered his strength just to keep them alive. Or so they said. It is true. Our village wanteth not for skilled hunters, but even the best of them would only get in, in his way. The knight's judgment was correct. But even so... It leaves a bad taste in your mouth, yes. It is the same for me. <laughs> By sending one man alone, we declared to the world our own weakness. Now it falls to me to hunt Red Eye in Zanta's stead. Hunt it. You have another duty. You must go and find the seer. Yes, it was Master's last command before the curse overtook him. I will find the means to free him of it. I must. Zanta's lucky to have such capable friends. Y'all ever notice that free backwards is earth? <laughs> Something to think about. My skill in the hunt is hardly the measure of his, but he needs me, and I will do what I can. Countless times Zanta has lent me his strength and courage. Now it is time to give up mine. I shall send word if I learn more of oh, this red Oh shit, I'm sorry. Thank thee. Fear in not, we will save him, Master. Nice. Uh, thank you, uh, Adge Phantos, as well as Kodu uh, Lucas and Shadow Zaris. Appreciated. Alright, so let's go leave town and then she'll be like, oh. Uh, also, Kurai, as someone who just learned this very far into the game, can I give you a tip about support skills? Yeah, sure, fuck it. Why am I not sprinting? Hon it, wait! Natalia? I'm so glad I caught you. Here, this is for your journey. 14 million gil. There was no need for thee to... It's a trifle, compared to what you and Eliza are doing. Zanta was a good friend to me, after my husband passed away and all. Now I can't go fight no monsters like you two. Yes, but... So the least I can do is help you on your journey. Let me do that much at least. Okay. Of course. Thank thee for the gift. And, uh, one more thing. Promise me you won't do anything foolish now, will ya? Even for Zanta's sake. I will be cautious. After all, I'll be of no use to master if I get myself killed. Exactly. Good luck to you, Hornet. Thank thee. I promise that I will return and master with me. Hey, Craig, can I post the entire game facts walkthrough instead of discovering things yourself? <laughs> You're funny. Alright, oh, immersion, hold on. <clears throat> and thus, Hanitz leaves Stoneguard behind her. Her new quest 
To save Zanta from his petrified fate, she must find the seer Susanna, named in Zanta's last message. Though it be but a glimmer, it is hope nonetheless. And so she sets out for the Frostlands, in the village of Still Snow. It would seem that her journey has only just begun. Healing Grape M, your spirit and Plum, Vega Rain and Pomegranate, all of them are M. Alright, what is this? So you can change secondary jobs, of course, and if you choose one and then change it later, you lose the skills. But keep the support skills unlocked. So you can essentially unlock support skills for people from any class and equip multiple classes supports at the same time. Only saying because it can be important and the game is safe. Hmm. What? Let's, uh, let's, try, let's try to understand it. Let's try to understand it again. Okay. So you can change secondary jobs, of course, and if you choose one and change it later, you'll lose the skills. But keep the support skills unlocked. So you mean like the passives? Yeah. I get you. I respect that. That makes sense. Okay. That's good then. Something like that. Cool. Nice. Cool. All right. Cool, cool. All right. Kick it. All right. This seems to be playing WoW. Have you watched Warbringers Jaina? Seems to be playing WoW. I'm not playing WoW. I haven't played WoW in a year and seven-ish months. Something like that. I am, uh, I'm a WoWless boy. I don't, I don't play on that crazy Poop nanny no mo. I got shit to do. Damn it. What am I doing right now? Hmm. I'm trying to think. I got I got some bucks now. I could probably spend it on some. Probably anyway. Let's see. Let me let me double check. We deserve a a reward. So why the fuck not do it? Okay. Hmm, Horn Cleaver is something that exists, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be worth it. Soldier's Longbow, however, is one of them juicy good ones. No one can resist. You know? A spiked shield? It ain't gonna be worth it. Let me work it. I'm a thing down, flip it. Do something after that. Uh, nobody else really... Actually, these things not really... Appealing to my, uh, my inner desires of want. I have five kite shields? Oh man, I must have stolen one. I need to sell shit. That's what I need to do. Oh my god. Guys, we don't sell enough. Guys, why don't you tell me to sell more often? Why don't you annoy me, like, a ton and tell me to sell like you do sometimes when you tell me to save? Why don't you do that with selling? I'm actually rich as fuck. Also, bastard sword sucks, so whatever. Get out of my face. Uh, I don't want to sell too many other things, though. I can knife this garbage, though. And the battle axe. I'll sell all the weapons that are, like, really low. The, the things that are, like, below thousands. I got a lot of shit, guys. Should we stock items, Cry? Oh, you know what? That's a good call. That's something I forget to do all the time. I forget about it all the time. Do I really want to throw all these out in the garbage? I mean, look at Cyrus, but he will lose crit. As we all know, if you don't got crit, what do you got? Nothing. We'll keep one. Robe. D-robe. Bronze armor. Shit armor. Wind attire. You done attire. Sturdy vest. Sturdy shit. Silver vest is old 
Huh? Guys, we have a lot of shit. I don't want to sell any of this stuff, though. Accessories and all that? No, nah, it stays. Okay, let's go ahead. And, uh, we'll, we'll restock, um, other stuff. That's the next door over. Okay. So, we need more plums. Is there no inspiriting plum M, though? That's a little insulting, honestly. You think I'm... I don't want that? Shit, let me get some more of these. Let's get, like, 20. Yeah, that'll do. Purifying dust. Ah, that stuff's whatever. Okay, fuck, we'll just get some plums. Yeah, that'll do. Now, ah, bumping up. There you go, 42. Beautiful. Uh, do we need all of life M's? Not really. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, we're done with this town other than... Oh, we gotta do Cyrus's thing. Right. Um... I think I just gotta go up. I think. Something like that. Oh, we probably gotta go talk to the barkeep. But before we do that... Ah, uh, here we go. I was gonna say we could try to steal shit, but wait, soldier's longbow. Hold up, isn't that amazing? The thing is amazing. Yo, you want a soldier's longbow, kid? Sick. All right, cool. That's a nice find out of nowhere. Sick. Where's that vampire though? Your boy's been having a little bit of a uh, mental. We're in the wrong place again. Whatever, people probably need rest. Yeah, a little bit. So, the most chill and least stressful thing possible I can think of is streaming for now. Sounds crazy. But it's true. You're a <gasps> Level 40. Finally, something of level. Now we're gonna get fucked up. This is a chapter three. The story so far. In Quarry Crest, Cyrus used his powers of deduction to get the bottom of a series to the bottom of a series of kidnappings perpetrated by the depraved scholar Gideon, who was harvesting the village's blood for his dark research. It was in Gideon's sickening sickening laboratory that Cyrus discovered it. A translated copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell. Though the history of the dark art intrigued him, he could not sit idly by while his peers used knowledge for evil. And so, Cyrus came to Stoneguard, where the tome was bound. Would he find answers here, or only more dreadful questions? Mm-hmm. I'm still in the reverb. Yo, what up? I'm back. What's up? Stone God at last. A sprawling city, if ever I saw one. Talk about searching for a needle in a haystack. Now then! First, I should review where we stand. It looks like on this pixel right here. Like as not, the translated copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell was produced by a bookmaker in this town. Hmm. But where to begin my search? Probably at a place involving books. Logically speaking, it would make the most sense to begin at the sword. Which means, head straight for huh? the book plate. The bindery, of course. Where else? Yeah. Noise. Noise. Hmm? Yeah. 
There's something fishy going Very on. Very well. Let the investigation begin. Yo, that guy looks evil as bug. It's because he can't see his eyeballs. He's wearing dark clothes. Shit. No, no, you gotta pop that tongue, not click it. I don't know if I can pop. <gasps> That's it! Nice. Like that? I think I did it. Am I a massive popper now? Yo, what up? Scrutinize you. Testimony! I sold a book of my making to Dominic, a translator. His home lies on the east side of town. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, now, it would seem I owe this Dominic fellow a visit. I should be able to find him in the workshop just east of here. Alright, remember, when we scrutinize these guys, we gotta remember that shit. Because, you know, people's gonna be saying shit, and we're gonna be like, Hmm, who did what? Excuse me. Uh, Conbonois, is this the residence of... My apologies. I don't know who you are, but I am not in the mood for company. A moment If you time. could just uh, spare a moment, kind sir. There's something I'd like to ask you. Be gone with you. I said I wish to see no one. Leave me at once. Hmm. He seems like a stubborn one. I'll have to find another way. Pray forgive the intrusion. Uh, good day to you, sir. It might behoove me to find out a bit more about our friend Dominic. We're gonna find out everything we can about him. We're gonna find his favorite show, his favorite cartoon, his favorite pillow. I see. He reviews it to tell, talking to the quite and needed a different approach. You are looking most solemn. Is anything troubling you? I was thinking, wherefore would someone so mighty turneth his back on others? The suffering in his voice was that of a man who hath been made to forsaken everything. You are suggesting there is a reason for his behavior. Perhaps, I know not. But when I think about the life that he hath led, yes, quite. Something tragic may have befallen him. I need to find out more. Perhaps I can even find a way to help him. A good plan, letting us act in upon it. Yep. Sick. Fuck. Fuck, sick. Yo, what up, screw this boy? Neighbor the grandma, huh? That Dominic went and shut himself off from the world after his only daughter succumbed to sickness 15 years ago. Okay, so his only daughter sick 15 years ago. Tell me about your neighbor, old man. This Pokemon knife gift in a sub to summer for a 15 monther. Nice. Dominic had a translation commission he thought he would earn him a fortune. Still ruse the day he said yes to it, poor lad. So he wanted the months, but it was not worth it. I see. I understand. Okay. Gotta keep on this. I gotta keep the flow. I don't wanna forget. I can't forget. Sold some medicine to Dominic about 15 years ago, I think. I was in a spot to bother to was in a spot of bother, as I recall, financially speaking, so I gave him a discount. Gotcha. Very well. And that should do it. I dare say Dominic will be more talkative this time. Yeah, we got this shit. Here we go. We're gonna get Dominic to be like, <gasps> Oh, you know everything about me. Oh my. Excuse me. B big pardon, Master Dominic. I am Cyrus, the scholar who called upon you earlier. Oh. You again? I already told you, I do not want to see you. 
Well, 15 years ago, did Dominic lose his daughter? What task did Dominic take upon to do bad shit? Translating a book? But of course! Yes, if my reasoning is correct, this is undoubtedly why Dominic has cut off all contact with the outside world. I do not mean to open up old wounds, friend. But I have heard that you lost your dear daughter to illness some 15 years ago. <clears throat> Thusly. Since then, you have secluded yourself and cut off all contact with the outside world. In order to, to procure the elixirs that might save your daughter, you needed coin. Quickly. And in large quantities. And so... You accepted an unusual task. Yes. To wit, producing a translation of From the Far Reaches of Hell. <sighs> Who told you this? Now then. Can we just talk about how it kind of looks like he just pulled out a gun? Does that not look like he's holding a gun? That looks like a gun to me. The book that you translated is now in my possession. Clearly, you are a scholar of great knowledge and wisdom. You took care to admit the most horrific passages, doubtless because you recognized the danger they posed. As an academic, I will not stand idly by as knowledge is used for the purpose of evil. And so I ask you, who commissioned this trend? Wait. <clears throat> And so I ask you, who commissioned this translation from you? Oh, I just come inside. Many thanks. Thank you, friend. Swag. Listen. Ah, uh, but where should I even begin? In truth, 15 years ago, a man came here with a request he said was of dire import. Strangely, I cannot recall his name. He was a scholar, and from his words, one could tell his mind was as sharp as a blade. But what I remember more than anything were his eyes burned blood red with a zeal for knowledge that bordered on obsession. What in the... Red-Eyes Black Dragon? Could it be? No. Paris the thought that card has been dead for centuries. After that... They say in recent years he accepted a prestigious position at the Royal Academy in Alliston. It couldn't be. Good gods. Headmaster Yvonne. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. yes. It's all coming back to me now. Yvonne was his name. Oh. Shit. In truth. He came to me, a mighty and venerable tome in hand. That tome was from the far reaches of hell. I did not have to think twice. Is that so? Knowing full well the danger posed by the forbidden knowledge within. Yes. Yeah, I was not blind to the risk. And yet, what choice did I have? The medicines my daughter required cost a veritable fortune. I'm but a humble scholar. <sighs> so you followed Yvonne's instructions to the letter. Yes. Yeah, I translated that dreadful tome. All the while fearing for my life what horrors might come to pass if the knowledge fell into the wrong hands, of course. In the end, even the rarest of elixirs could not save my poor girl. Looking back, I believe this was divine punishment for my sins. Hmm. Headmaster Yvonne, whatever was the man thinking? He pulled a gun on him! Holy shit! 
You say the book is in your possession. I beg of you, promise me. Leave it to me. I will see that it is never again used to bring pain and suffering. You have my word. Yeah, that's cool. The pain and guilt you bear is surely beyond my understanding. But I hope this will bring you even a small measure of solace. Rest your heart easy, friend. As best you can. Okay. You have my thanks. As uh, Cyrus, was it? You have my thanks. Get out of my house. <gasps> Evil man. Look at him. Kill him. Shoot him with fire. Come now. Well, are you going to keep hiding in the shadows or shall we end the charade? Huh. So, you were wise to my presence. Just so. I knew I was being followed, yes. It's a girl, guys. <gasps> Yo. What's she doing here? Fancy meeting you outside the academy. You're the headmaster's assistant, miss. Call me Lucia. That. Greetings. It's a pleasure. Then why have you followed me here, Miss Lucia? I apologize. Forgive me, Professor Albright. I meant no offense. I overheard that you were investigating the whereabouts of a certain tome. A tome by the name of From the Far Reaches of Hell. Is this correct? Mm -hmm. And what if it is? In truth... What I am about to say, I ask that you keep in the utmost confidence. I have reason to believe Headmaster Yvonne is plotting something unsavory involving the selfsame tome. Why? So the thief who stole the book from the archives was... Yes. The headmaster himself. Of this, I am all but certain. The headmaster's assistant I may be, but first and foremost I am a scholar in my own right. I will not stand to see my profession's good name sullied by one who is, would use knowledge in the name of evil. This is why. Indeed. You came here seeking my aid. Correct. Yes. My intuition is, as an academic, tells me you are a man to be trusted. Wait, hold up. I remember when Crap played Phoenix Wright Good Times? Me and Russ just did four hours of Professor Layton, which was pretty much like Phoenix Wright. Just with puzzles. We just did that tonight. It was great. As you may be aware, Headmaster... Oh, wait. As you may be aware, Headmaster Yvonne hails from Stoneguard himself. Yes. Yes, I was planning to investigate that very matter after I was done here. Hmm. The house in which he was born still stands. Yet there are ominous rumors about the place. I have ascertained its location but I am hesitant to investigate further on my own. And so, Professor Albright, pray, lend me your aid. I see. Before I promise anything, I would see the house with my own eyes. Correct. I understand completely. You will find it on the north side of town. Oh no, I thought it was gonna be the one they were right in front of. Alright. Fair enough. Are you planning on playing Phoenix Ray vs. Professor Lane in the future? Probably. Shall we begin? Very well. Let us pay a visit right away. As for whether or not I can cooperate, I will give my uh, I will give you my answer there. Is this acceptable? Thank you. But of course. Thank you, Professor. I will go on ahead and meet you there, while I set up booby trap. 